morning, Hoppin' in Middle School, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, Manoli Bears. Today, you'll hear about Relay for Life, Mr. Rockwood will tell you about the desire to inspire essay contests, and give you a new Fun Fact Friday. We'll hear your answers for our question of the day, and you'll see a new picture for this week's Have You Seen This? But first, we have our assistant principal, Mrs. Grady, with today's announcements. Good morning, Hopkinton Middle School. Today is a day four. March Madness is approaching. Please find your co-ed team of three and sign up for March Madness Tournament. Forms are in the guidance office. It is $3 per person. All forms and payments are due to Mrs. Kirschenbaum in room 247 by February 26th. Check the lost and found areas in the cafeteria and locker rooms for anything you may be missing. All remaining items will be donated after today. Birthdays go out Friday, February 12th to Isabella O'Rourke and Cole Salyards. Sunday, February 14th, Valentine's Day, Sophie Cowan, David Stelt, and Erica Williams. Everybody have a happy Hopkinton day, or actually a happy Hopkinton week. Try your hardest, do your best, and all week be kind to everyone you meet. Back to you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Grady. Now, if you want to attend the wreath ceremony in the State House before the Boston Marathon, Mr. Rockwood is here to tell you all about it. Good morning. Once again, students in all three grade levels are participating in the essay contest, where winners will be recognized at the wreath ceremony held in the Great Hall of the State House in Boston. Additional information to follow. Yet, in the meantime, Please talk to your world history, geography, social studies, or English teachers for essay details. Oh, and by the way, this is the third year HMS has been involved in this very prestigious opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rockwood. Now we have some students from the high school to tell us all about Relay for Life. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Luke, and we're part of the Hopkinton Relay for Life Planning Committee. Um, Relay for Life is an event put on by the American Cancer Society in which you form teams with your friends and you fundraise money for cancer patients and awareness. It's May 13th through 14th at the Hopkinton High School. And this event is a great way to give back to the community and it brings Hopkinton together as a whole. Upcoming fundraisers that we have is Yogurt Beach. It's on Tuesday, February 29th. 30% of the do proceeds go to Relay for Life, but only if you mention our name. Um, our next event coming up is kickoff, and it is February 23rd at 6.30 in the Hopkinton High School cafeteria. Um, any Relay participants are welcome, but make sure you sign up in the next week in order to come to this event. The theme is Color Blast, and there will be lots of snacks to eat, fun games, and lots of information about Relay if you're interested in learning more. If you have any questions about Relay for Life, uh, Mrs. McBride is our middle school representative. She can be found in the main office if you have any questions or you can just shoot her email real quick and she also collects all in any forms that you have thanks for that there are so many ways to help out now let's move on to our question of the day this time we asked you what is the first thing you think of when you wake up in the morning the first thing I think of when I wake up in the morning is going back to bed mine is pizza you need your pizza oh, what am, what am I, I gonna, gonna have, have for breakfast, breakfast? The very first thing I think of when I wake up in the morning is when I can go back to bed. <laughs> school? school? <laughs> I think about school and what the day will bring for me. I can't wait to have the next adventure. Those were some great answers. Next we have Mr. Rockwood again to share with us some interesting trivia for Fun Fact Friday. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. I've asked some friends to assist me today. Yurik, and a, a dynamic duo who you'll meet momentarily. Did you know that a new word in English is created every 98 minutes? I'm Haley. And I'm Acadia. And our fun fact is that 80% of all information stored on all computers in the world is in English! Thanks again, Mr. Rockwood. And now, here's the answers for our last Have You Seen This? It was in the grade 6 locker hallway next to Mrs. Mason's room, but no one got it. Was it really that hard to figure out? Anyway, here's a new picture for you. Do you know where it is? If you do, send an email to our new email address, 
hmstv at hillers.org, and you could be our new winner. And remember that our new email is hmstv at hillers.org. That's all for this week, middle school, for HMS Today. I'm your host, Manoli Barris. Now get out there and study hard.